Good morning. Just about to start our live box and bums workout this morning. Got the, the tins ready on the floor that we need. Two tins for the boxing. You can use weights and a little tin of four so that we can do some work in that square. Then the, uh, the set over there ready. Ready to go. So I thought I'd just jump on though as I have a few minutes before we get started. I wanted to talk about something that is kind of relevant now with Boris's announcement today. Boris today is set to set to open gyms, restaurants, hairdressers, private studios like ours, which we are excited about. Start open up in Devizes on the 3rd of December, back open in Marlborough on the 3rd of December too. But the thing is, it could come out, you know, I've been surprised many times over the last year. Morning, Nan. I've been surprised many times over the years, so, over the years, over the year. So I'm not, until it's set in stone, I'm of the opinion that let's just see what it is. And it just reminded me a bit about it is what it is, that saying. And it's something that I've been saying to the kids a lot in terms of I can't. They say I can't quite a lot. Like, oh, you know, they're trying to, so they want to do things themselves. And I get it, it must be so frustrating. Like they're like putting their shoes on and then it's like one's on the wrong foot and she's a bit like, yeah, I can't do it. And I keep installing the yet on the end. So I can't do it yet. And I just keep installing that because if I don't, she'll get very good. All she's doing is practicing. She's practicing her response to a situation. The response is, if I can't do something, I just go, oh, I can't do it. And that's the response. Rather than, I can't do it yet, because let's face it, pretty much everything we can do, pretty much everything we can do, once we put our mind to it and once we commit to doing it. Now, the second thing that I've been big on is been saying to her, is, okay, what do you say if you can't do something? Morning, Stephanie. What do you say if you can't do something? And then to get her to say, can you help me, please? And it's something that two really simple things that, I, that I'm trying just to, just to install it in her a bit, because if you think about most of our problems, if we just consider, if when we get frustrated because we can't do something, whether that's to do with fitness, whether that's to do with our snacking habits, whatever it is, the truth is we just can't do it yet. If we want to do it, we'll be able to do it eventually. Maybe we're comparing ourselves to someone who's 30 years older than you, to my kids, <laughs> who's been putting on their shoes a lot longer, putting on their trousers, or shorts in my case, a lot longer than they have. Of course I'm going to be better at putting shorts on than they are, because I've had more practice at doing it. See where I'm going with this? Two, if we can learn that when we get frustrated, we just give up, we'll get better at doing that. So we're practicing it. Our brain goes, you can't do it. Response, give up. Then if we have no other response, such as, okay, I'll just ask someone for help. Who can help me? Be it a friend. You can get a friend to keep you accountable. One of the ladies at the moment is doing the sessions from home, but they're doing the sessions together virtually at the same time. So even though we're virtual, they're virtual, but in their own little private bubble, online still, so they're not together together, but they can kind of interact a bit on the workouts. I thought that's actually a great idea because it makes it even more interactive. Like, yeah, you can interact with me anyway in the workouts, but, but there's nothing like having that friend there. So straight away, if you hit a problem today, consider, and you kind of find yourself going, oh, I can't do it. Just say, I can't yet. Two, what could I do to actually make it happen? Just change that focus. Who could help me make it happen? And like I said, this could be a friend, family member, or you could get some help. Because the thing is, in this, in this time, in this day today, with the announcement, fingers crossed, everything does just open up. But if it doesn't, it, it is what it is. And... We can say, you know, I can't, that means I can't exercise, that means, and it's frustrating it is, but if it means it's another week, the truth is we can. The result is still the same. 
We've got five live workouts on today. We're about to go any minute now, so I need to go. But my point is this, if we really want to do something, we can do it. If we really want to make something happen, you can make it happen. As the saying goes, whether you think you can or can't, you're right. I'll leave you with that. Hope your tree's up. Our Christmas tree is now up and it's behind you now. It's not on there, with a little train underneath. Choo choo, there we are. Feeling Christmassy. So, any questions, let me know. Have a lovely Monday, okay? And speak soon.